okay today we are talking about anti-gout drugs and which I made uh, mnemonics which may be useful for you and before we starting the drugs name what what is gout gout is a disorder of disorder of purine metabolism purine metabolisms in which the plasma urate plasma urate concentration urate concentration is high maybe it may be due to decrease of the excretions or maybe the overproductions maybe overproductions maybe due to the overproduction overproductions of uric acid or maybe due to the decrease of the decrease of the uric acid excretions so that's why there is a plasma urate concentrations level is high that is also called as a gout or we can say hyper uricemia hyper uricemia also so simple def definition of gout is a, it is a disorder of purine metabolism in which the plasma urate concentration level is high due to maybe due to overproduction of uric acid or maybe due to the decreasement of uric acid secretions that's why there is a hyper uricemia that is called as a gout so due to the plasma urate concentration high what is happening due to that there is a sodium urate urate crystals crystals in joints that's why there is a arthritis okay what is happening there is a already i already mentioned there is a plasma urate concentration is high that's why due to this uh, due to these properties this sodium urate crystals now deposit in joints and which leads to the arthritis that's why gout actually characterized as a it is a characterized as a intermediate attack of acute arthritis which is produced or by deposition of sodium urate crystal in joints okay let's talk about its classification of drugs there is a actually two classification actually acute acute for a acute gout and for chronic gout okay for acute gout the first is NSAID NSAID in NSAID the most common is a endomethacin endomethacin and another we can use diclofenac also okay second second group is a colchicine colchicine and the third is glucocorticoid glucocorticoids in a glucocorticoids there is a prednisolone methyl prednisolone and another is a tri-mc nolone okay these are the for acute gout the three groups of drugs we use, normally we used and said in a NSAID is a normally is a endomethacins and diclofenac also second group of drugs is a colchicine and third group of drugs is glucocorticoid in a glucocorticoid for systematically for systemic purpose purpose prednisolones methyl prednisolones and tri-mc nolone these are drugs for acute gout now chronic in a chronic gout there are two basically groups the first is a urico suric agent later i will describe this all mechanism of action urico suric agent these are drugs name is a very important drugs probenecid probenecid and sulfin pyrazone sulfin pyrazone and probenecid these are the group for the urico suric uricosuric acid agent second drugs is uric acid uric acid synthesis synthesis inhibitors inhibitors i want to describe only allopurinol i think most of you already know about allopurinol so basically there are the two groups of drugs which are used for gout 
if acute gout uh, we classified as acute gout and chronic gout in acute gout three group of drugs basically first is NSAID endomethacin the first or diclofenac second is a colchicine third is a glucocorticoids in a glucocorticoids pregnisolone methylprednisolone and triamcinolone for a chronic gout uricosuric agent two group of uh, drugs we use one is a uricosuric agent probenecid and sulfinpyrazone and second group of drugs for a chronic gout is uric acid synthesis inhibitors the drug's name is allopurinol okay now i have make one pneumonics so according to the pneumonics i will just describe and some of mechanism of action and some side effect the most important one the pneumonic i make for anti gout is caps caps easy to remember but it uh, it does not have any separations in between either acute or chronic so just caps what stand for caps c for colchicine colchis colchicine a for as you know allo purinol allo purinol okay and p for P for probenecid, probenecid, and S for sulfin, sulfin pyra, pyra zone, sulfin pyra zones. Actually, these are the most important drugs. Normally, we don't prefer NSAID and glucocorticoids. The for acute gout, we normally use colchicine, and for a chronic, we normally use either allopurinol or probenecid or sulfin pyranozole. So, let's discuss these four drugs mechanism mechanism of actions. Okay, the pneumonics is easy to remember for you. Caps C for colchicine, A for allopurinol, P for probenecid, and S for sulfinpyranazole. Now I just describe about this group of drugs only for mechanism of actions. Before mechanism of actions, what is how is going this mechanism of actions? Okay mechanism of actions let's talk about about at first hypoxanthine hypoxanthine convert into xanthine xanthine convert into uric acid so this uric acid excretions in urine okay this is nephron nephron this is uric acid excretion as a urine if uric acid ex excess in a gout case then there will be hyperuricemia hyperuricemia if hyperuricemia then what is happening now deposition of urate crystals in joints especially and kidney then what is happening then after deposition of urate crystals they release they release they release of cytokines okay by macrophages by macrophages and they activate activations and migration of neutrophils and release mediators release mediators that's why tissue ph is decreased and further deposition further deposition of urate crystal sorry i made like this okay sorry i again one more time revise hypoxanthine the first biochemistry hypoxanthine convert into xanthine there is a one enzymes hypoxanthine convert into xanthine xanthine convert into uh, uric acid there are uh, two enzymes one enzymes name is xanthine oxidase xanthine oxidase this enzymes is very important for us okay this xanthine uh, oxidase actually 
hypoxanthine convert into xanthine by xanthine oxidase and xanthine again convert into uric acid by xanthine oxidase and this uric acid normally go as excrete in urines this is a nephron okay from the kidney this is a normal mechanism but uh, as i already mentioned in a gout there is maybe overproduction of uric acid or there is a problem in excretions that's why uric level is increasing so what makes this uric acid now hyperuricemia due to hyperuricemia there is a deposition of urate crystals their formation of urate crystals and they deposit in joints and kidney so after deposition of this urate crystal they release cytokines by microphages and after uh, releasing of the cytokines they activate and migrate of neutrophils this neutrophils okay and release more mediators and due to that tissue ph decrease means more acidic and for the deposition of urate crystals in these joints and the kidney this is the mechanism so as i already told you the drug's name is a uh, allopurinol 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 what is the function of mechanism of action of allopurinol is actually inhibit this xanthine oxidase so allopurinol inhibit this xanthine oxidase due to that there is what is happening they cannot convert hypoxanthine and xanthine cannot convert into uric acid so there is no more production of uric acid okay that is the main mechanism action of allopurinol and second group i already told you pro probenecid probenecid or sulfin pyrazone their main function sulfin pyrazole and probenecid is uh, this is inhibit they inhibit the tubular active tubular resorption of uric acid in proximal tubule that's why there is a increased excretions what is happening there uh, in a gout there is no excretion no proper excretion of uric acid so that's why there is a hyperuricemia but after giving this proben acid and sulfin pyrazole drugs what they will do they act in a proximal con uh, convoluting tubules of the nephron and they reabsorb of this uric acid in the kidney that's why there is a more excretions more excretion of the urine okay and the third is most important drugs is a colchicine 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 what is the function of colchicines this colchicine is inhibit this activation or migration of neutrophils and release the mediators they inhibit they inhibit this activation and migration of neutrophils and same release the mediators also they inhibit so in this way the these four important drugs they do the uh, mechanism of actions in the content of the gout i just wanna say about allopurinol allopurinol is contraindications for children's for children and pregnancy that you need to remember other side effect not so important same nausea vomiting uh, nausea vomiting uh, diarrhea these are the common side effect but most common side effect and most important to remember is allopurinol side effect they are contraindicated for children as well as the pregnancy and if there is renal disease and liver disease also they are contraindicated so as a sum of i just want to say anti gout 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 means hyperuricemia there is a more production of uric acid so there may be acute or chronic in acute the most common uh, drugs is colchicine for a chronic allopurinol or proben acid or sulfin pyranazole these are the two groups acute and chronic and the most uh, uh, common is allopurinol drugs uh, their mechanism action is inhibition of xanthine oxidase xanthine oxidase that's why there is a, a um, not so uh, high level of uric acid so n only the level of hypoxanthine and the xanthine level increase so they excrete as a urine and second mechanism of action of proben acid and sulfin pyrazone they reabsorb uric acid in a, a proximal uh, convoluted tubules in a nephron so there is no hyperuricemia and colchicine 
is after the sun is acute you know they inhibit the activation and migration of neutrophils and they inhibit the release of mediators these are the mechanism of actions the most important uh, side effect or contraindicated contraindications of allopurinols is contraindication in children and pregnancy you need to remember this and as i told you pneumonics is a caps caps c a p s caps easy to remember okay that's all for anti gout drugs thank you